everyone welcome back to the channel yeah that rain made a mess of my plywood next year I'm not using that I think uh, some of the 5 8 that I have cut up I'm probably going to use them to replace some of the OSB for shells I'm not going to use plywood I'm going to use lumber it may cost more but I'm not going to have this buckling effect the buckling effect is annoying and when you put a lot of money into something and it just comes apart, it hurts. But anyways, I'm going to give you an update on the grass. And I'm going to let you know upon when you know it's time to mow it. We got a lot of seed coming up here with the grass. I mean, it's, it's pretty shaggy. Bigger clumps are getting bigger. I'm going to be leaving here go get my friend out of the hospital. At least I got the, some metal put up. I'm bruised up. I'm pretty bad shape as far as what I took a beating for seven days. You see how shaggy it is? It's going to get a whole lot shaggier. Now, mind you, if you're doing this with a regular riding lawnmower, it may be tough. At this point, probably when you might want to do it or what you can do you mow part way down not all the way down just to get the seeds to get into the soil well since I got a well big ass tractor I can let it grow up a little extra tall because at one point in time on the other side of this fence it was bald and and I, I, money, I did it for buying lawnmower. And now it's just, it really, really looks good over there, you know. When I first regraded this property back in 2009 to 2010, the first bunch of seeds that I spent $500 for washed down here. You see how nice it is? It's hardly any weeds. But uh, anyways... We're going to let this grow up a little higher. You want the seeds on top of the grass. I don't know if you can see that. These. You want them to dry out. When they dry out, that's when I'm going to mow it. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.